It really stems back to 2009 when the co-op at the height of the financial crisis bought the uh, Britannia Building Society. Now it was one of the more aggressive uh, pre-crisis lenders had issued loans which were really unlikely to be repaid and those law loans are still haunting the co-op to this day to the tune of £496 million uh, in terms of the write down they had to put on those loans this year alone. The thing with the co-op is although it's you know, seen as an ethical kind of a touchy-feely bank owned by its customers it had some big bank ambitions and they continued right into this year right up until April when a plan to buy 630 branches of Lloyd's had to fall apart at the last minute because effectively the credit ratings agencies had already made up their mind they had downgraded their credit rating for, uh, for, for the co-op bank to junk. And what about who is to blame for this? I mean, we know there's a new chief executive. They've been in place for just a few months now. Have they got an action plan to sort this out? They do, they do. There is a £1.5 billion hole to plug in the co-op's finances and there is a, a four-year plan to turn things around. What's most controversial is the asking of bondholders to cover some of the losses. These are people who have effectively loaned money to the bank. They're being asked to convert some of their loans to, uh, to, to shares in the bank. The thing is, we're not just talking about big financial institutions here. We're also talking about an awful lot of ordinary people who have uh, retail bonds with the co-op. They're understandably angry about this, so they're not going to get their money back in the way they might have expected. Uh, but the co-op is considering other options as well. It's selling the family silver. It's, uh, it's uh, life insurance and savings businesses were sold last year, and its general insurance division is for sale this year. There's talk of job losses. Everything is being done to avoid the need for a taxpayer bailout. And how do these figures compare? I mean, obviously, a lot of the banks are having to pay, put out money for mis-selling payment protection insurance. So how old do they compare versus the others? It, it, this amount of money for P PPI within the co-op is, is, is pretty small beans when you think of its much bigger problems. So uh, I think the main issue will be convincing those bondholders who have to decide by October whether or not to uh, accept this plan. Because if they don't, they're going to have to find another way to plug around a billion pounds worth of, uh, of the hole in, in, in its balance sheet. And the big question is, will the government ultimately have to ride in to the rescue?